do they meet? Well, they'll have a they'll have a little bit of a task. The second team out of the Ohio Valley, the Racers of Murray State, share the regular season Ohio Valley Conference title with Belmont and then beat them in the tournament finals. So Murray State at 27 and four. So we get John Moran against Marcus Howard, which is great. But the important thing here to know is again, bubble teams go into the 11. Uh, first off, I thank all our fans here at Murray State. What a tremendous crowd we had tonight, and and definitely something I know our players and coaches will remember forever. Uh, so we're really thankful for the great crowd. Uh, as we move forward with the tournament, you know, obviously excited to be a part of March Madness. We have great respect for Marquette and their program. Uh, we'll spend the rest of the tonight preparing. Uh, at first glance, I know they have one of the best players of the, in the country in Marcus Howard, who's put up video game numbers all season long. Uh, they're top 10 in the country in three-point shooting and they're very balanced offensively and defensively. So they present a lot of challenges and uh, we're excited to get prepared these next couple of days. Matchup wise, you feel like this is a good draw for you all? I have no idea. <laughs> Had, uh, we'll find out in the next couple of days. Two bit OVC, how, how big is that for the Ohio Valley Conference? Well, I think it's great for our league. I talked about it all season long, the top four teams in our league, Murray State, Belmont, Jacksonville State, Austin P won 99 games this season. Uh, four really good teams. And so uh, I think it's great for our league. Uh, thrilled that we get the opportunity. Uh, and then the, the most important part is winning games now. So uh, it'll be good for our league moving forward as well. Um, but I hope both of us are able to find ways to win. Playing Thursday instead of Friday just speeds things up here for you guys as coaching staff. I'm pleased, though. I, that's the one hard part about our league is it's been already eight days since we last played you know, in the win over Belmont. So I think the sooner the better. So it'll be a quick turnaround, but I know our guys are anxious and ready to play. What have you guys been doing over the last couple, you know, 10 days, trying to get ready for a situation like this? Yeah, just trying to find the right balance between keeping our guys healthy and fresh, but also sharp and competing. Uh, we've come through it injury-free. and With the loss of Anthony and Daquan for the season, we certainly couldn't afford any injuries this past week. So uh, pleased with the way the week went. We spent a lot of time on individual player development and just trying to stay sharp in preparation for whoever we might face. Just from, a, I guess, the nuts and bolts of how you prepare. I know it's easier than it used to be in, in years past, but how, what, what's the... The protocol of just getting all the Marquette video you can, right? Yeah, that's the one thing that's definitely changed over the years. You know, we've already, we had about 10 to 12 schools that we had already had film on and prepared to start this process on. So uh, assistant coaches are already in the office starting to break down film and the statistics of the, of the team and so on and so forth. So uh, technology is a beautiful thing. You ever been to Hartford? Never. Never been. Is that close to WWE headquarters? 82 miles. Thank you. Uh, miles. You hadn't researched that, have you? Yeah, I, did. Yeah. Uh, I, I know it's just two guys, but how exciting is it with all the awards that both Marcus and Ja brought in that the two of them are going to go against each other um, in this first round? Uh, I'm sure it'll drive some ratings, I would think. You know, as you've seen the crowds that have come into play to see Ja and our team this season. But at the end of the day, it's all about the team. And I think you know both Marquette and Murray State have great teams, obviously led by superstar players, but there's a lot of balance on both teams. So uh, it's the beauty of the tournament. It comes down to which team plays best for those 40 minutes. So we're, we're looking forward to the opportunity. It was seven years ago, but the first time when you were here that you got to go to the tournament, your season came to a close against them. Any did that bounce into your head at all when you saw him pop up? No, I didn't even think about it. Uh, no, it was a different coaching staff at the time, and different teams, different personnel, so on and so forth. So um, didn't really have any impact on my thought process. I know you don't know this down to a T, but what do you think the next you know, couple days will hold as you guys get ready to go out? Mm -hmm. Well, tomorrow morning we'll get right back in the weight room, have a good session there, and then we'll have a full go practice tomorrow afternoon. And I know all the meetings are going on tonight as far as travel. I would assume we'd be heading out of here on Tuesday. Not sure if we'll practice here first or fly on into Hartford and practice there. 
So we got to get all those arrangements finalized tonight. I know a lot of people try to look and see where things might go, uh, what teams might go where. Did you and your staff come into this almost like a, a non-spoiler type of atmosphere of just see what happens and be excited from there? Ed, you've been around me a long time. I, I don't spend much time worrying about things over which we have zero control. So. I didn't look at all the projections or you're going to this city or that city because nobody knows. So uh, just wanted to come out there tonight, be with our great fans. You know, it was a lot of fun for me, selfishly, having my family there for it. You know, those are things I know I'll remember forever. Uh, but now that we know where we're going, uh, we got to get to work and start that process of preparing to play a really, really good basketball team. So I know you haven't seen a lot of film, but what kind of – off of what you know, what kind of defensive challenge will uh, Marcus Howard bring to your team? I mean, uh, when I tuned into Sports Center here and there, I mean, 50 plus points, 40 something here, 10 threes there. You know, going to be an All American, you know, along with Jaw. So, uh, again, haven't gotten to watch him a whole lot, but I've seen enough to know he's really good at basketball. You guys healthy? Nothing happened this week? No, that was the, the best part of the week. I think we came out of it very healthy. We didn't do a ton of contact. And I think it's hard, Jeff. You're just trying to find that right balance. And so uh, a lot of conditioning, uh, very up-tempo practices, uh, but, but as low risk as humanly possible. Uh, so our guys are excited. You know, they love to play. It's one of their many great traits. They love to compete. They love to play. So I know they're excited. Have you made or do you plan on making any changes to your how you prepare this team? Any lessons learned from last year that maybe like, hey, that didn't work? We're we we changed up this past week's schedule a little bit, uh, but no, the the week ahead will be fairly similar. Uh, it'll be, I guess, the main difference being instead of a four day prep, a three day prep. So we'll have to make a few minor adjustments there. But you know, at this point of the season, I think you kind of are who you are, and and I like who we are. And now we just got to go see if it's good enough. With job, with the fact that you guys, you know, you, you're a solid team. A lot of people on Twitter already, all you know, CBS, everybody talking about you guys as an upset team. You have an all star. How do you guys just tune all of that out going into this week? I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a media frenzy in Hartford. How do you stay focused? Well, that's one of the things that's been very impressive, I think, about Ja and our team this season. I mean, it's it's been amazing to watch. I mean, we've had. And you're selling out arenas everywhere you go. There's people lined up when you get off the bus, uh, the TV cameras, the college game day, you name it. And I think our guys have done a really nice job just staying focused on the task at hand. Uh, and what I really hope, and I think we talked about it some yesterday, is Josh, Shaq, Breon, they've been through it. Anthony Smith, Tevin Brown, Devin Gilmore, Breon Whitley, they were all there. Uh, them having gone through this experience last season and now going back to back, I hope that our leadership will benefit uh, from those experiences last season. I know you talked about it to the folks out there, but can you just uh, describe your excitement a couple hours ago getting to talk to the 16-time champ? <laughs> oh, it was, it was really neat. As, as you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, and we carry the championship belt with us the last two seasons once we go into tournament mode, which you know, last year required a 13-game winning streak. This year required an 11-game winning streak. So uh, the amazing thing was, Jeff, his knowledge. He's watched Murray State play a lot. He knew all about John Morant and offered his congratulations on the season. So it was pretty cool.